pleasure to be here. So 10 minutes, you say. Yes, I'll sir. have to rush through the slides. Uh, just kidding. I, I'll stay. I think, do I get food uh, for, my, for my efforts? Do I get lunch also? If you're willing to stay for lunch, you get food. And I'm sure there are a lot of people here who will be okay. to talk. Okay. So I'll stay. I'll, I'll give you my 10-minute uh, spiel, nine minutes now, I guess. Uh, and I'll hang around uh, for lunch. So if you have questions or you want to talk about this, uh, I'll be happy to, uh, to talk to you. So uh, as Steve said, we're trying to put together this Center Initiative Institute. It doesn't have a formal name because it doesn't exist yet. We're just in the process of getting organized. Uh, why do we want to do this? Well, I guess for this audience, I don't have to explain why big data or data analytics is important, so I'll skip this slide. Uh, next slide is that, as I said, we're working on this, so uh, things are being defined. Uh, but this slide sort of tells you why we want to do this. Uh, there's a lot of activities related to data, data, big data, analytics, data science at Stanford and elsewhere, and we're trying to bring together the resources, have people that work at the core algorithms engineering side of uh, data science work together with domain scientists in energy and environment, in medicine, social science, uh, and so on, because we think it's a real benefit for the researchers in one area to interact with researchers in another area. But in addition to just fostering research, we want to provide a, a resource for this community. Uh, for example, a lot of us are interested in Twitter data, which is, uh, I, I'm sure I don't have to explain what Twitter is, um, uh, but it's a lot of work to get Twitter. It's a huge data set. It's changing constantly. You have to negotiate with Twitter or pay lots of money to get it. And a lot of professors at Stanford and companies are doing this. So wouldn't it be nice to have this center get one copy for Stanford that we could all share and, and, and use together? So that's the goal. We already are negotiating with Twitter. Uh, we're trying to get Google Books, for example, to give us data. Uh, some of the corporate partners might give us additional data. Some of it might be restricted in the way we can use it. Some of it will be open. But that's another one of the goals, provide us repository of tools uh, and useful data sets uh, to support the research. Um, this diagram sort of illustrates that this initiative that I'm describing doesn't try to cover everything uh, at Stanford. Uh, it's, it's too, there's too much going on. So what we're trying to do is a federation of centers organizations with ours being at the center, not because it's the most important one, but because we uh, deal with generic tools that can be used by multiple disciplines. So most of the faculty that are going to be involved here are going to be in either statistics or engineering uh, disciplines where our goal is to develop tools and solutions as opposed to uh, the goal, say, of our colleagues in the medical school who want to cure cancer. Uh, that's their main goal. They use data as a tool. Um, so they have an, a big initiative, um, and we're interacting with them. Uh, so we will be able to get some of their data sets, and hopefully they'll learn from us. We'll learn from them. So we're in the process of setting up connections with some of these pebbles. There are others to be determined. We probably won't have resources to interact with everybody on campus, but that's sort of the, the, the big picture. Okay. Um, I already said this. Um, yeah, we, in addition to research and this infrastructure that, that I described, we want to also have a teaching side to teach both our students short courses, maybe on new techniques or how to use some of these data sets that we'll have, uh, but also uh, for our corporate affiliates. Um, I don't have time uh, to go through all of the research topics. We don't have the, 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 a list yet. I mean, these are suggestions, ideas that we've been um, discussing. This quarter, we've been running a seminar with Stanford faculty. It's not a real traditional seminar. It's more of short presentations, so we get to know each other. Uh, and the last two sessions, next week and the last week of the quarter, it's going to be sort of open for discussion of flagship projects. We want to define some real big, challenging projects for the initiative to take on, projects that involve several faculty from different disciplines and several of our corporate partners, uh, ideally. So the topics go from more statistics topics, uh, machine learning topics, to some traditional uh, data management topics, just how to ingest the data, how to clean it, how to keep track of the lineage, uh, uncertainty in the data, and so on. So we're trying to cover the whole spectrum of, of data science. Um, I'll go through this. So um, we obviously need some funding to realize this vision for, our, for, for supporting students, for supporting this infrastructure. We're going to try to get 
um, corp um, foundations, government grants, of course, but our initial effort is getting a relatively small set of uh, corporate partners who really want to work with us closely and support this initiative. Um, so uh, we're looking on the order of five to 10 corporations to help us get it started and help us define the initiative. Since it's not quite off the ground, we want help in, in defining what are our flagship projects, what are interesting problems, what are good data sets uh, that we might be able to, to get. Um, so just like my, the previous speaker was looking for customers for his book, uh, I'm looking for uh, potential companies, slightly more expensive than the book, although I don't know exactly how expensive that book was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, um, well, these are sort of the benefits of working, but I guess since you're all members of this uh, Energy and Environment Initiative, you know what the advantages of, of, of being involved with Stanford Research, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Um, but as I said, uh, the price is a little bit heftier than the book uh, because we're looking for, indeed, partners who really want to support us um, and have a person on campus, for example, working with us. Um, we already, I can announce we already have, Google has already uh, said yes, at least verbally. We don't have the check yet, but it's, uh, it's in the mail, as they say. Uh, we have three or four other companies that are like in the 80% probability uh, um, state, and then we're talking to a number of other companies. Uh, the set of companies that we'd like to have is relatively divor uh, diverse. Uh, we have some technology companies like Google and, and others uh, that we're talking to, and then we have uh, application companies, uh, insurance companies, banking, manufacturing companies, uh, oil uh, companies. We've been talking to some oil companies that I think are quite interested in this. Um, so um, last slide, uh, the schedule is that we don't have a schedule yet uh, because we're just getting started, but this is our, our, our wish list. Uh, we are in conversations uh, as we speak with various companies. Hopefully by the end of the summer, or starting of next quarter, we'll have at least an initial set of companies and we can officially uh, kick off. So I still have maybe a minute for any short questions. And then, as I said, I'll be around for lunch if you want to um, um, talk to me. Thank you, Dr. So as Hector said, we have some time for questions now. He'll be available at lunch. Uh, and in addition, for those of you who are interested in learning about this in more detail, we'll be happy to set up meetings with you in the future. Any questions now? Yes. We have, we have a microphone for you. Thank you, Marjorie. Hector, I wish you had more time for your presentation. Uh, my question is just one question. Uh, in, uh, we usually want to understand in a short way, in the form of motto, what particular science is doing. If I take inversion, for example, which is part probably of the problems you're describing here, I would say that what I expect from inversion is taking data and obtaining parameters of the Earth or some other objects which can be parametrized. Is there some such a small expression of what this broadly from related form of problem is about, what it takes and what it delivers. Uh, so you're asking sort of for a definition of, of data science? Is that, is that the question or, or what? Probably. But in general, I know that I take data. That's right. What I deliver. That's right. Um, well, as a result of analysis. Yes. The, the way I like to think of, of there's a lot of people that, that using data for the research, um, and we're not being exclusive, so I'm not defining what we will or will not cover. Whatever our faculty and our, 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 our sponsors are interested in, that's what we're going to do. But the way I think of it personally, the exciting part of this data science initiative is when people are getting the data and they're using the data to drive discovery, right? They don't know exactly what they're going to find or what they're going to prove. But by looking at the data and analyzing the data, you discover new hypotheses, anomalies, interesting things. And that's, I think, sort of the exciting side. If you have already your, your formula, your theory, and you just want to verify it, that's fine. But the, the new exciting direction is to just collect lots of data from your instruments, from your sensors, from social sites, uh, from your cars, from your phones, and examine it to, to make discoveries. That's one of the exciting things that we're going to focus on. Did you want to, did you want to follow up, Lev, or is that fine? Well, well, you're the timekeeper. 
it, it can take uh, a lot of time. But it's enlightening because uh, you're targeting some process and you're trying to guide with these processes, uh, a discovery process, the discovery uh, which I want to reach or uh, obtain. I mean, I buy into this and I, I have this feeling, but you're confirming that that's the, the target here. Not specific, not specific uh, model and not specific something, but give us ability to, to be guided. That's right. Right? That's and guidance means that we can say that these hypotheses are more likely and these are not likely, and that's fair yeah. enough. One, one term that I like is data-driven discovery, data right? So, so you're discovery, discovering yeah. based on okay. the data. Anyway, so do we have time for one last short question back there? Sure, last question. Thanks. Um, I just know you didn't have very much time to talk about your program here. I was curious between the two programs, now that we've heard about the ICME and your program, how do you see them interacting or complementing each other? Because it, it sounds like a very similar target or That's interest. right. We are working together. Margot is part of our working group. Um, and remember I thought about, talked about this teaching component that we want to have? Well, it's the same as the ICME teaching component. It's not different. We, it's going to be the same effort because Margot is going to be doing both sides of this. So uh, this is complementary. I mean, what we're trying to do is uh, focusing on getting some additional corporate funding and uh, trying to get more researchers that are interested in, 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 in data to participate. But it'll be in conjunction. A lot of them are going to be from ICME. Yeah. Please join me in thanking Hector once again. Thank you.